scared of you motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you something straight off the motherfucking press. I ain't coming for no foolishness. This is the, uh, Alex, this is the game. That they, this is the problem. Okay, I'm just now looking at the Constitution. I, t I tell you who got me looking at the Constitution was Aaron Russo. When he's like, democracy is, is that thing where he says two, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. Ch it changed my life. That, that, I, I think that's the most amazing quote I've ever heard that puts democracy in. in it was Thomas Jefferson originally. Well, that, he, yeah. that I heard from him. Yeah. Know, I gave him it, even, but I'm looking at the Constitution and for some reason, grown, you know, growing up black with just being black, the Constitution is, is, is poison words for black people because we feel we're not involved in it anyway. But the idea of what freedom of, of the press and then freedom to carry arms, it, why it's important, and this is, is easy, is because the, it's to protect us from a dictator. It's the, it's the separation of state when Bush took over the, the separation of, uh, of, of, uh, of, not separation of state, but separation of Church power. and state. The, no, the powers of, of uh, s s uh, the... Uh, separation of powers. Yes. The you got court, it. The, the House of Representatives and, and the president yeah. to protect us from a dictator. And all these things are trying to be destroyed so that a, a dictator can come right in and take over. But black people somehow in the system of, of just regular government we feel ostracized from these words. We all, like even the crazy what, what, what black people call the crazy crackers in the hills that say we just look. We we don't we want we we gonna kill you if you come on our property. We black people automatically think those people are crazy, but those people are the revolutionaries of our time. Those are they live how the people who freed the country from England live. They think like that, but to a black person, whatever the the, the news thing does. It makes us think that those people are insane and out to get me. That's the that's the game they play so that black people don't get deep into the new world order. Because it's another divide and conquer. It's a divide and conquer thing. It's well, stay there. Uh, we're going to break long segment. Uh, let's pick up where uh, you left it. Patrice O'Neill is our guest. Patrice O'Neill, you got cut off. You were making the point about the hillbillies trying to stay out of the system. You know, to black folks, the way the media pushes it is, you know, anybody who lives in the country is basically a racist that wants to, you know, get you. And then you were saying, Alex, am I right that Waco really woke you up? And to a certain extent, that was the real trigger. So uh, we were talking about that during the break. Please continue. Yeah, I was just going to say that, that, that more more black people should be into this into this uh, globalization game, the I, you know, the idea of it. But it's whatever the news does in this country, it's to separate. If you look at history anybody that tried to bring uh, black and white people together got killed <laughs> you know no one anybody who as soon as malcolm x stopped saying whitey's the devil as soon as, boom. as soon as he thought whoa wait maybe i'm wrong get your hand on my pocket he got killed and uh, you know martin luther king got killed. same deal jfk but black people love jfk well he was for real he got killed Jesus, <laughs> Gandhi, anybody who tries to bring people together for the right reasons, they get off, man. And and well, they're always bringing folks together against the corrupt elite. And 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 they get off. So the. Th yeah, so this guy comes to town. He, he was missing his left hand, so he had like <laughs> one of those three pronged left hand things. Like Everybody a sees it. So when, when you met the guy, you just stuck out your right hand and there was no problem. So after he meets like 10 comics, he then meets Patrice and Patrice sees the guy. And when he goes to shake his hand, instead of sticking out his right hand, he sticks out his left hand. <laughs> and then Patrice with his big dainty fingers just grabbed one of the metal tongs and <laughs> shook it. <laughs> <laughs> All this awkwardness, and then Patrice just goes, "What happened to your hand, man?" <laughs> <laughs> and like that was—that's why I loved the name of his last special, "Elephant in the Room," because that's what he always did. Men don't have to understand that the one secret weapon is not to care. Even if you do, you pretend like the guy who finds his wife fucking in the bed. You go, you go. Whew. Thank God you did this. Now I can get out of this whole situation. Oh, the not you, care. You all, it's, it, it, it may backfire from time to time, but hey, you're fucking another guy. Oh, my God.
God, thank God I was waiting for you to get some more dick so I can leave you. It's just, <laughs> they can't, <laughs> they can't function when you don't have a drop of feeling about them. When you don't have, a, uh, like, if you had gone, oh, thanks, sweetie. You know what? I should have did this before. You deserve more. I'm just going to give you what the courts give you. But it, it, it really, it's costing me less in my soul than it is paying you. So it's like, freeze my soul, you can have the money, enjoy your life, yeah. and I can just get me another woman that I'm happy with. Woo! Thank you, Pumpkin, and for being like a cunt. A, a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, liars don't like me. Liars. Yeah, people who lie. People who live a lie. There's people that love living lies. There's people that actually, the word brutal, honesty, I was I was thinking about that the other day, like, the, the word brutal, honesty is just a dumb term. Like, I don't understand. Who wants their honesty? Like, Brutal should be associated with lying. Okay. You're a, little, you're a brutal liar. Right. As opposed to somebody that just is going to inform you of, of what they believe the truth to be. Right. And sometimes what is the truth? Like, like if somebody told me, I might not want to hear it, but if somebody say, look, the world's going to end tomorrow. There's some people that just want to live as if the world's going to be here tomorrow. Right. I'm a person who likes to be informed that the world may end tomorrow. It, it, that's that's the difference. It's it, I think um, people try to figure out all these different ways to explain. Like the cup is half full and the cup is half <laughs> thin. Right. It's all horseshit to say. There's some people that enjoy lying. Some people that enjoy honesty. Right. I, I meet a lot of people that enjoy. Um, they just want. They don't want to be given uh, anything straight. Mm. So they they qualify or, or, or classify people like that as you know assholes what I guess. is it that you're trying to do here what do you that's a good question yeah it ain't make money because mm -hmm. i'm stuck you know like everybody like you know carlos was saying i i want to buy my mom a house yeah i do too everybody want to buy right but one thing i learned about this game early um is it's a lonely game it's a lonely journey it's really hard like i i was my mother didn't support me she supports me now, but it's one of them things, it's like, this shit is a dream, and, you know, you ever try to, dreams are something you do by yourself. You ever have a dream and then try to tell somebody the dream you had? You wake up and be like, hey, here's what I was dreaming. And they be like, really, really? So, <laughs> unicorns, and then what happened? That's the same thing as saying, I want to do something besides be what's already planned out. Plumber, doctor, lawyer, you know, dentist, there's a plan. This thing here is like a leap of faith and you just keep falling. Now, to answer your question, what I'm trying to do is be righteous. And I, when I say righteous, I don't mean God, you know, God righteous. I mean, just when I wake up, I know I was honest to myself, you know what I mean? And I did the whole tap dance, dude. People be like, why do you do, why do, why do you play ball? I did it. I tap dance you what, like you wouldn't believe, trying to get something. A end, a, 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 what does it mean to an end? I was trying to get something. And I went to LA and I was sitting there, I was gained, I like, I was like 100 pounds bigger than I am now, dude. And I was sitting in my stomach, is like fucking sitting out here. And I had two uh, whoppers with cheese because that's, <laughs> they were 99 cents, dude. <laughs> and I, that's all I could afford to eat every day was a whopper cheese. And it was just sitting on my stomach. And, um, <laughs> And if I had a gun, dude, yeah. I'm telling you, I'd have shot myself. I understand suicide. You, because you couldn't do the act the way you because wanted to. Because I was trying yourself. to get something yeah. from what I do. And I argue with a good friend of mine, Dante. He does a show with me today. Because the, the whole show and the business thing, I, I'm in complete disagreement with that. It's just that, you know, I'm lucky enough to be able to get some money out of this shit. Well, you know, out of this what I do. Um, but it's big, man. Comedy is big. What it is is, is being political and having, like, because I more want to be a cult figure. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to see if I can get people to drink, uh, you know, that poison lemonade or right. whatever. Right, your cult. I, yeah, I, yeah, I want to get people to believe in something, mm -hmm. but not be on, on a platform where you should. I just want to go, look, man, this is how I feel. And if I'm true to myself, then you might go, damn, you know, I feel that way. So I don't, I just do it because. When a guy t says to me, dude, you know, man, that ch I, you changed my life, that feels good. If a dude says you changed my life, or a woman says you changed my life for some goofy shit you did, 
you know, that means something. That's it. That, I want to I wanna change lives, but, but not be profound about it. Ha, 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 ha.